Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For fast and cheap coins, check out instantmudcoins.com and use code ZERK for 20% off. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today I'm going to be going over the best free 96 overall player for you guys to pick from your solos. If you didn't already know, the free agency solos that are out right now, if you guys go ahead and get 100 stars on them, then you can go ahead and you get a fantasy pack containing any of the six 96 overall players. You get one for free and it's NAT. Now, I do want to give a shout out to Cash for being a part of the Noti Gang. If you guys want a chance to be shout out in the next video, drop a like in the video. Make sure you guys are subbed to the channel. Turn notification bell on and comment down below. Noti Gang. Now, one thing I do want to mention here, you guys will see that none of these guys actually do have team chems on them i believe that they'll actually get their team chemistry updated once they sign with a team but i believe if you power them up then you can just go ahead and choose any team that they have previously been on so you can go ahead and do that and also another thing i want to mention is that of course with the sets with jj and dak prescott guys all you need are 296 overall so really if you want to like you could just go with any of these 96s and then go buy another 96 overall and you can do a set, do Dak or J.J. Watt, and you get Dak and his power-up or J.J. Watt and his power-up. You don't get the 96s back as NAT or anything, but it's not a bad value, honestly. I mean, you get one for free, you go buy one, boom, you now have a 98 overall master. So you can do that if you want to, but I'm going to be basing this off, of course, if you're choosing a player to keep on your team as an NAT. And obviously, as these cards, you know, they're 96 overalls. This is someone you want to use for a long time. So I'm going to go over these six 96 overalls, kind of give you my opinion on them, on if they are long-term or what you guys should be doing. And let me know down below which ones you guys will be picking. So let's start off here with Justin Simmons. So Justin Simmons has got 94 speed, 96 excel, 84 tackling, 95 player, 97 zone, 85 hit power, 90 man, and also 95 pursuit. Now I will say this, when it comes to safeties this year, I think this year of any year, I have actually been completely fine with going with someone who's just really good at coverage and doesn't have the hit power. Because in years past, fumbles were kind of a big thing. For me personally, and I know for some people, you know, it's it's a different story. But for me personally, I just don't get fumbles. Like, I just never cause fumbles. So honestly, I don't even care about hit power that much this year. If a player has the hit power and they have the coverage stats, that's great. But I would much rather have a safety that's able to get to 99 zone, which Justin Simmons can, and at least over 90 men. So if I do have them in man coverage for some reason, then they're able to go ahead and hold their own in man coverage. So, so Justin Simmons, I really like that he's at 90 man coverage and he can get to 99 zone. Now the 94 speed is a little bit of an issue, right? Because right now my personal favorite safety in the game is Justin Reed. Now Justin Reed has only got 94 XL, but he does have 95 speed. So he's one speed faster than Justin Simmons. And if you were to power up Simmons here, we're talking 95 speed. And with Sprinter, you're at 97. Honestly, it's not that bad. It's not that bad at all. Now, especially if you guys are talking about like a theme team, if you happen to have a theme team available for Justin Simmons, which right now be only the Broncos, of course, uh, then Justin Simmons is great. That, that's honestly great because then you'll be able to get his speed up, his acceleration up, which, which if you power him up and you put Sprinter, he's going to be at 99 acceleration anyway. So really just getting that speed up. But honestly... I kind of like this Justin Simmons card. Now, keep in mind, these cards are NAT, right? So, you kind of want to think about it in the long term of things. Are you going to be using Justin Simmons, someone with 97 speed, towards the end of the year? Wouldn't you rather have someone with 99 speed? Maybe, but if safety is in a position you worry about too much, having that 99 zone, he's going to be able to get to 99 acceleration. That's really good. The play rank's up there. Pursuit's up there. This is honestly a great coverage safety. Maybe even someone, by the way, that you would just want to go with in case you use safeties, maybe more so down to play in a purple or in the flats, not so over the top, because obviously as we get, you know, more 99 speed wide receivers, faster tight ends and everything, maybe you're going to want to have 99 speed back there at safety. But next up, William Jackson, he's got 96 speed, 96 XL. I honestly really like this card a lot. Now this card though, I think it comes down to if you run man or zone, really, if you should pick William Jackson, because obviously... 
being able to get to 99 speed 99 excel is amazing sprinter powered up boom 99 speed 99 excel you love to see that his jumpies at 94 his player x at 95 his man is at 96 so you can get that to 99 but his zone can only get to 98 powered up with lockdown maxed out his presto is also really really good at the 94 so if you are someone that likes to run a man press system without a doubt i think william jackson is probably someone you want to go with because this card is really good now, of course, not being able to get to 99 zone is a little bit disappointing, and there's definitely going to be some other corners later on in the year that will be able to get, you know, 99 speed, 99 excel, 99 man, and zone, and have really good press. Uh, someone like Darius Slay, already in the game, super good card. William Jackson, I mean, this, this card's amazing, I'm not going to lie. So I do really like William Jackson. Next up though, we have Leonard Williams. He's got 79 speed, 89 excel, 95 strength, 96 block shed, 97 power move. And I think this one kind of comes down to, really, do you have a better defensive end? That's, that's as simple as that, to be honest with you guys. I think that there are a lot better options at right end right now. And a big thing for me when it comes to a lot of defensive ends coming out is speed, of course, because QB spies, really, really essential. We're about to get into the time where we're going to have a lot of QBs. Like even today, Dak Prescott, we have Baker Mayfield now, we have Lamar Jackson, we have Randall Cunningham. We're going to get some fast QBs. So you're going to need some spies out there. People are definitely going to start to go more towards those scrambling quarterbacks, especially, you know, in a month here or so, we get Michael Vick whenever we get him. Yeah, he's going to be running everything. So Leonard Williams, not a bad option, but not a fan of the speed at all. Now, speaking of speed, Le'Veon Bell, yeah, instantly, I'm just going to let you guys know right now, no. Absolutely not. That speed is terrible for this point in the game. Only 93 speed. He's got good excel. Okay, agility is a 97, carrying is a 92, great at catching, good change of direction, trucking, break tackle, all that. But no, especially if you're looking for this guy to be your starting running back. Absolutely not with that speed at this point in the game. At a max, we're talking 96 speed with a sprinter in powered up as well. Of course, depending on what team he goes to, you know, if you want to do it then, go ahead. But if you're not picking up Le'Veon Bell and he's on a theme team for you, no, absolutely not. Do not pick Le'Veon Bell, even as a backup. Now, Allen Robinson, he's got good catching. He's got solid catching traffic, spec catch, solid route running. He can get to 99 short route running. His medium can get up to a 93 being powered up. And then, of course, with Playvic maxed out, we're talking, uh, unfortunately so, only a 97 medium route running. But his short powered up via 95. So Playvic maxed out, boom, 99 short. That's cool. The deep route running up to a 94. Allen Robinson, not a terrible, terrible option. However, again, there's a lot of wide receivers out there that can get to 99 speed, like a ton of wide receivers that can get to 99 speed now just by being powered up and with Sprinter, and we're going to get even more. However, Allen Robinson is a very, very solid wide receiver still and can definitely be your wide receiver four or five later on in the year once you get some better wide receivers, of course, because we're going to get a lot of really, really fast wide receivers, guys, to the point where some of these like really expensive guys like Marvin Harrison, Isaac Bruce, you're going to start to see them kind of, you know, come down in price a little bit. You're going to be able to pick them up for a lot cheaper. And especially like, you know, when we get golden tickets, more ultimate legends, more promos, you will be able to get some 99 speed wide receivers with a decent amount of coins. And finally, we have Hunter Henry with 90 speed, 78 strength, 96 catching, 94 catch and traffic, 93 spec catch. He's got 95 short and 92 medium route running with an 82 run block. If this card had 94 medium route running to where you could power him up and have play pick on him to get to 99, I would like this card just a little bit more. However, Hunter Henry is still a really, really good card. And to be honest with you guys, between all of these options here, I think that of the options, there are two that I personally like the most. And that's because number one, they are versatile. And number two, they are both depth positions. And by saying versatile, really that kind of refers to Hunter Henry. Because Hunter Henry here has got good catching. He's got solid route running. He's got solid speed. But he's also a run blocker. Now, although you may not use multiple tight ends in your scheme all the time, there are certain formations you could use if this is how you run your skimmy ways where Hunter Henry can be out there as a second tight end, even if it's just to block. So for that specific reason, I do like Hunter Henry out there to have the speed, the catching, and also a great run blocking tight end to have in a two tight end set. My personal favorite one is definitely going to be William Jackson because at the very worst, William Jackson can be your cornerback four and you have a 99 speed 99 XL, 99 man coverage corner coming off the bench uh, whenever someone else gets tired. Yeah, 
that's pretty fire. So William Jackson, I like a lot. I will say Hunter Henry is either two or three for me because I don't really think Justin Simmons is all that bad of an option as well. If he had 95 speed base, I would love, love this card for sure. But him being able to get to 97 speed as of right now, just powered up with Sprinter, is still really, really solid. So Justin Simmons, I do like, but I think William Jackson, because you do have the 99 speed excel, good press, good man. I like him a lot, although he cannot get to 99 zones. So with that being said, guys, I hope you did enjoy the video. And if you did, make sure to drop a like the video. And of course, hit that sub button down below. Let me know which players you guys are going to be picking, or I guess which player you'll be picking. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time.